Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to the 4th Supreme Commander. As we continue, so, uh, what I wanted to take a look at uh, today to begin with initially is, in fact, data. So, what we're going to do then is we're going to go over here to our metrics and we're going to compare. Right then, so we're going to start by comparing the total number of men. So you can see here that we are definitely outnumbered, though uh, not too, too much, actually. And something I do want to point out is the fact uh, that, yes, we did start with 2.5 million men. And we are now at about 2.23. Uh, However, the Allies started with 3.224 and now at 3.098. So they have lost men. Of course, there are replacements, but... Um, it's good news. It's good news. Well, the Allied losses anyway. Not so much our own. We can't really replace our own as easily. Now, the total number of aircraft is something I absolutely adore here. So you can see here that we started with 4,887 to begin with, and the Allies 8,286. Now, as of turn 9, 7,289, 4,862. So you can see here from the start, to the end here, there's really not much of a difference. We did gain some planes here, but really, fairly steady, fairly steady, while the Allies have been uh, consistently dropping here in total number. Well, we have the uh, total number of ready aircraft. You can see here, in the first turn, not too much of a difference, about 2,000 planes difference. But then that jumps up quite rapidly, and we lose planes here. Now you can see here, this is probably due to the operational losses, and just um, having my pilots being driven quite bloody hard, as we did give them quite a lot of missions. Uh, but the good news is here, as you can see here, 4,143, 4,198. We've maintained a nice, steady, constant, while the Allies have gone um, from a high of 7,000 to a new low of 6,382, which is almost as many as they started with. Which is um, interesting, it shows you that even with the production uh, advantages that the Allies do in fact enjoy, we are really starting to hurt them, which is fantastic news. Armored fighter vehicles, let's take a look here. So it's a um, similar story, but the thing is that we have to consider with the armored fighter vehicles, is it well, it takes into account everything really. As you can see here, the Italian ones, meh, not really going to count them. Uh, the British Armored Fighter Vehicles, probably a mix of British and American, the Americans being American. Yeah, there's a good number over here as well. But our tanks are, for the most part, well, it depends really. I'd say the Panthers are superior and the Tigers are superior in different ways, while the Allies' Armored Fighter Vehicles are obviously superior in other ways. Obviously the fact that they are a hell of a lot easier to produce, which is a big... Big advantage that they enjoy over us. So anyway, let's get into the center. So we'll check on the east. Now the east, 3288. Okay, so it's not too bad. Is there anyone I can take out just to get them some R&R? &R? Let's see. There's probably some infantry divisions here in desperate need. Yeah. It's usually us. Right, there we go, still good. Okay. Hmm. Right, we can't do that one. Uh, that'll have to do then. So instead of you, I'll take you. As you have 7,000 men. 3242. No, I can't do that one then. Shame. Okay. That I'll have to do for the time being then. Ah, uh, so yes. Our fortifi- no, sorry, wrong one. Our fortification level down here is increasing, which is good. The allies are actually fairly fortified. Um, which is interesting. I'm debating whether to take this Panzer Grenadier Brigade um, away from here, or Battalion, whatever you want to call it, I'll call it Brigade, uh, from the mountain to Massina to defend the port there. But I think I'd rather have a full strength division to defend our most vital port on the island. Obviously, uh, Catania is vital, but this one, uh, Massina, is the linchpin of the operation. If we lose Messina, we lose Sicily, and I cannot allow that to happen, at least not at the moment. Possibly in the future I might consider a uh, ordered retreat, 
into the Italian mainland. What I'm hoping for really is a fact of, um, well, let's take a look here. If I can try to keep the allies along here, keep them focused on Sicily, then hopefully we can prevent them from trying to land at different locations to run to being up there and etc etc. So if we can try to keep them here in Sicily, I think that could work out to our advantage as uh, we are de well defending a narrower front which is very advantageous to us. It's got the mountains over here, the volcano, something that you don't really see anywhere else to block some of the terrain. So I'm happy about that one. I mean, this would be a nice place to defend here. Two mountains, some rough terrain there, rough. Uh, the port, no, sorry, the town over here, however, is only, well, is that clear terrain? Not really. It is clear. Yeah, ground clear. So not great. But oh well. Hopefully we won't have to retreat there. I have moved these brigades over here to start, uh, hopefully, the process of digging in. And um, then at least, if we need to fall back, we can fall back to some uh, pre-prepared fortifications. Who knows? Who knows how things may go. Uh, where did I send that armor? I think I sent it down here, didn't I? Did I? Did I? Oh, no, never mind. No? Um... Hmm. Where the bloody hell did I send that armor? Let's see. Looking for order of battle. Um. Okay. Kind of looking for armor. Was it the fourteenth armor division? it further down here? You know, I can't remember what I sent that armor division. Oh, right, yes, I remember now. Okay. Yeah, that's fine then. So we're going to have that sent uh, to the east, actually. Uh, which I think is decent. We'll send another armor division over there. Um, armor divisions being units of great power. That should be nice. Right, so what we're also going to take a look, look at here is... Right, so we gained a new headquarters, some cores over here, a battalion. Right, the headquarters, however, is pretty damn nice. Um, some more tigers there, that's going to be quite good. Fortress construction battalions, there we go. Uh, this will go to the eastern front, so we have some pioneers, okay. Uh, I think this is, um, Finnish, perhaps. Infantry battalions. So I imagine these will start at about 500 men and then they should reinforce to about 5,000 men potentially. Uh, some gun battalions, how it says, yeah, okay. So the east doesn't really get much, right? Some full-size divisions over here. Heavy Panzerjägers. Flak, right, they gain another infantry division. So I think with these two infantry divisions here, I'll probably have them sent to the eastern front perhaps. And uh, then at least can start to boost that numbers there. Though of course I could by that turn, need them, so we'll have to see how things go. Uh, so we're getting a lot of flak here. Brigades, brigades. That's uh, finish, yep, for definite. Some tigers going to the east. Uh, Nebelwerfers. A full-size uh, panzer division there, actually. That's pretty bloody good. Uh, what are you packing? So we got some Marders, panzers. Have we seen any panthers here? I'm not seeing panthers. Marder, panzer, panzer, panzer. Okay. Right, and then we gain quite a lot. Yeah, these seem to be some Italian, and then just the few couple stock battalions. Okay. I'm looking at this just so I know how to uh, possibly deploy men in the future. Um, so, I mean, this is 1945. Yeah, th there's not much in 1945, <laughs> if at all. So we are going to have to be very careful. Long time yet to go. How's the weather looking? Weather on the ground. Okay. Uh, what I'm hoping for is the snows. I do need the snows in the south. Well, I don't really. And having December will uh, 
retard the advance in the east as well. So that's not good overall. Right, production. Um, fighter bomber is okay. Yeah, so we are really taking losses here. Which is not the greatest thing in the world, but hey-ho. Okay. Brussels means Rennes, uh, Bordeaux, Avignon. Hmm. Not good, but it's nothing too particularly bad right now. Um, I have reinforced my positions up here, which is good. I do have these infantry divisions here too, uh, which I probably will have deployed upon the beaches. It would make some more sense. I mean, sure, they are full-sized infantry divisions. Or are they? No, actually. Uh, no, no, they're not. So, yeah. Not many men there. But it would allow us to plug in some of these gaps, actually. If I split them up like here, 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 and here, and here. But of course, if I defend everywhere, I defend nowhere. So I'll have to be careful. Okay. Uh, so, as far as I can see, there's no pressing concerns right now. Okay. I am concerned about numbers, however. Right. Supplies. How are we doing on supplies? Okay. So our rail lines over here are becoming somewhat um, overstretched. I think that's easy to say, considering the amount of rail and just the amount of supplies being pushed down here to the south. It is um, quite incredible. Uh, so what we can do then is we can go over to our data and we're going to find some information here. Uh, so we can see that um, where right I just want freight so freight okay now we can see our capacity port well port and rail by the different nations okay so this is showing you who sent them received it etc etc. For Naples. Let's see. Supply. That's what I want to see. Right, so. Milan ships are 25,760 tons of freight to Naples. So that's uh, interesting. It says ships uh, to Naples. I imagine. Yeah, it says ships basically for everything. So I suppose that's a catch all turn. Uh, large numbers like this, I imagine, will mean uh, via rail. As otherwise, it would be quite ridiculous. We do not have that sort of capacity. Yep, yeah, Naples uh, ships 2,936 supplies from Poole to Catania. So how much supply do we have in Naples? Uh, 37,544. 500 fuel, 999 oil. Airbase is being expanded. That port is being repaired. Okay. Ah! Right. Okay. I shall uh, get some heavy AA in there, then. Why not? So let's see here. These ones aren't assigned, so we'll get some of these in. Yep. The game's not enjoying this one, is it? There's a lot of things attached here. And this is the first time I've ever seen it chug along, but um, hopefully it doesn't crash. Don't crash. There we go, thank god. Okay. So sign some extra AA over there. Uh, which does make me wonder... If I can have some AA assigned over here. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, build air base here. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. Okay, wait for this to come up. Uh, if I can get some more AA battalions assigned here, then I really, really, really will do that. I do want to turn these areas into uh, basically hell for any forms of um, aircraft. Alright, so assign some heavy AA over here. And then a couple to the... Port of Catania, and then we'll be good to go. I realise um, almost half of the episode has gone by and I've really not done anything. But well, this is the nature of the beast. Get that in there. 
A construction battalion could be bloody useful. I imagine that could speed up the repair speed and etc. of the actual uh, port. So I might want to consider that. I'm not entirely sure how it actually does work. It's been a long time since I've read the manual, but we'll give it a go. Give it an old go. What's the worst that could happen? We have another 90 R6 in the pool there, so that's not too much of an issue. It doesn't like me signing them, does it? That's quite interesting. Yeah, actually, there's quite a lot to sign there. Ah. Right, so if I turn this off, it might stop it chugging along as much. Right, sign. Airbase is uh, potentially being upgraded. Yeah, the rail guard needs repair immediately. As obviously, we only have 607 resources here. Ah, can't sign anything else, so um, what we'll do then is have this put down for priority repair. Over here, you're good. Calabria, good. Okay, Palermo, Salerno. Port needs to be repaired. Well, it doesn't really. Uh, Naples has already been repaired, so that's fine. Okay, so... Hopefully we'll be able to last a another phase. So, onwards and upwards. As ever. Let's see how we get on here. Ideally, I don't take too heavy losses in the air this turn. I'm going to be interested because the thing is here. The Allies do have to balance the fact that they are going to, at some point in the future, try to invade France, which they very well could succeed with. I am hoping that they will not succeed, and I will do my best to try and uh, forestall that conclusion. As I'd hate to see a re well, repetition of history. Uh, the beautiful thing is, though, if we could destroy them on the beaches, it would free up armoured forces to be sent to Upper France, say, the East, or to Italy, depending. We'll have to see what happens. Because there's a um, long time to go before any sort of considerations like that need to be made. But if we plan for now, we plan for the future. Okay, there's a lot of sorties there. Luckily, if you take a look at the bottom there, not many operational losses, just um, just a few air combat losses. But look at the losses that the Allies have suffered. That's looking a lot better. Okay, so, uh, now we've got to withstand the attacks, which we will, uh, not many losses there. Thankfully we will continue to dig in, I really do need to continue to dig in these fortifications. 10 to 40, yeah, so that was basically a failed attack there. Right, I do worry about this location. It's probably the easiest to defend when it be in the mountains. But uh, there's always that possibility that they could push through, and that's the possibility that scares me. Okay. I lost a few men there, but luckily we have 305, well, sorry, 303 um, AFVs there. Make that 301. I'm not happy about losing two armored fighter vehicles there for only 66 enemies. Right, they lost 17, but 19. Okay, but they have 420, so, uh, 420, yes. Right, two losses there, 350 men. Uh, that's, uh, that's a bold move, Cotton, attacking. Fucking hell, they lost 40 armoured vehicles. Fucking hell. 
That's uh, that's a large loss there. Are they gonna go for the Catania? A further six. Come on, attack Catania. You know you want to throw your men into the uh, gondola to fire. Ah, ah. I would have rather have them lost some uh, fucking hell, four men for a thousand. Fucking hell. Oh. Oh, those losses. Jesus. That's, that's pretty nasty. I guarantee you, though, I'm going to check on the losses after this turn, and it's going to be like, oh, the Axis has lost uh, 400,000 men. Wait, what? How? How? <laughs> we should not have taken that many losses at all. Okay. When we're ready. Here we go. Yeah, see, look. Like, come on, when was this? When was this? I, I do not feel like I lost that many men. I probably might have, but come on. Uh, this, ah, uh, doesn't feel right. I'm, nah, it's probably men being disabled. But still, ugh. Something's going on there. As we can see here, we lost 145 pilots, uh, 155 fighters, bombers, fi uh, 7 fighters, 7 night fighters, 5 tacks, and 19 levels, 1 patrol and 2 torpedo. Uh, so altogether, 196 planes lost, which is not too bad. Uh, kinda, kinda not, but then you take a look at the allies here, 600 pilots KIA, they've lost uh, 166 fighter bombers, which is alone uh, more than the ones I've lost there. Then they've lost a further 394 level bombers. So that's a lot of bombers. These aren't cheap aircraft. Well, I, I guess they kind of are, but you know what I mean. Okay. So, not doing too badly then. And uh, what we'll do then is we'll check on this. So, we have managed to hold out once again. And we are digging in further, which is absolutely fantastic. It will come to a point where the Allies just simply cannot get through. Which is going to lead to them probably trying their luck against the ports over here in Italy. And, uh, yes, that's terrifying. If they do indeed land at any of these ports in Italy, I will find my position uh, untenable, to say at the least. Depending on what happens, but um, we'll pray for the future. I'll fear the future if you like Metro 2033. Which was a good game. A very good game. Good book, I hear, too. Though I've not read it. Okay, so when it comes to the AA... Well, so when it comes to the air... It's honestly just the same as usual. There's nothing particularly I need to do right now. I could have my... Squadrons take a rest. That's true. Uh, let's see. Seven fatigue... 10 fatigue. 9, but there's only like one of you. Uh, 0 fatigue over here, so these guys are good to go. Okay. Uh, did we not have some forces assigned to rest? I'm pretty damn sure I had some forces assigned to rest, actually. Uh, these guys do have some fatigue, but I'm sure it was over here somewhere. Somebody has orders to rest. I am certain. Right. Who was it? Hmm. They're somewhere around here, aren't they? I'd honestly have to go back and figure it out, but I'm damn, damn sure. Why the hell is that there? That does not even make sense. Who the hell would do that? <sighs> Absolutely ridiculous. Right, BF-110s, uh, Junkers 88s, Cs, 
Night fighters, actually. They could be bloody useful, actually. Uh, but what we'll do then is we'll just stick to our guns for the time being. What I'll have to do then is figure out who are... Well, which squadrons are on rest or were on rest. And we'll come back to that one. So I'm going to stick to my guns on this. Right, sign those directives and execute said directives. Okay. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Admittedly, I wasn't actually watching. I kind of looked away for a moment and looked out the window. Uh, but either way. Okay. Actually. Uh, not too, too bad then. Right. So. Let's go through the usual emotions. Uh, three, two, three, four. That's not good. Minus thirteen. That's good. Yeah. Hmm. That ain't good. That is not good. Need to boost those. Right, Panzer Grenadiers. They're looking rather good. That brings us up above the required number, which is fantastic. Um. Okay. So, we do have those forces in Berlin. Yeah, the armor division over here in Berlin. Eins, drei. Okay, so we'll have you sent over here to Konigsberg. I do believe that is where we send you. Yep, send east. Okay, there we go. They've been sent to the eastern front. I'm sure they're going to enjoy it. Uh, I should have checked on what the name of that was. Is it Second Panzer? I bloody can't remember. They may arrive in the fall in terms, but we're up to 3349 now. So I can't help but feel. Was it the 14th? I think it was a 14th pan. Ah! That's a 14th panzer. Um, oh, somebody. I should have bloody checked as I sent them. Um, will that show up in my. Okay, I won't be able to see that then. Uh, where are you? Okay, so you're over here. Fine. Why do I have rail information up? Why is it showing me this information? Oh, right, never mind. I'm a bloody idiot. Okay. Uh, what I might do here then is, in fact, have these forces deployed closer to the beaches. And uh, that might work out. These forces, I might bring them back, but the only thing is, I really, 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 really do not want to give the Allies any sort of uh, position to, well, base themselves from. As obviously that would be um, quite detrimental to my war effort and to our possibilities of victory. Or at least just a... Ah, okay... So these are current web conditions, so we are starting to see the buds now, which is great for the defensive. We have heavy rain, which is really going to limit uh, the flights. So I do believe in the next air phase, we will have to limit our flights. That's good. Yes, and then in the fall wind, the weather will be clear, but the ground will still be muddy. And this mud will increase, so luckily we still have clear weather in uh, the Soviet Union. Yeah, so this... Uh, this rain is definitely going to make things difficult for the Allies, which is good for me. Right, so the rail network is still fairly, fairly busy, but at least over in Sicily it's not too bad. I do wish we had a connection here, and uh, yeah. But that's the issue. The fact is that we have to send the supplies via ship to Sicily rather than via rail, which is um, probably... The straw that will break the camel's back. Uh, for our adventures in Sicily. 
But until next time, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. It has been a more energetic episode, I would like to say so. So goodbye for now.